So if you've ever inadvertently left your phone on a table with others around, perhaps at a family gathering or with some friends, there's no way of knowing whether or not they tried to use your phone in your absence. Well, using Who Touched My Phone, as long as you have a secure lock screen set up, this app will snap a picture using the selfie cam anytime an unsuccessful unlock attempt is registered. And just like that, we are back with a new set of 10 Android applications that are sure to blow your socks off. Let's get right in. Volume Styles is an app that lets you customize the look of your phone's volume slider. The app has loads of different themes and looks that are available to use for free, some of which emulate the volume sliders found on iOS, One UI, MIUI, plus heaps more, but you can then take that a stage further by dialing in additional customizations to make it look and feel exactly how you want it to. Even more than that, the app even lets you customize which sliders are visible, and you can even add in additional sliders, including a brightness slider, which is incredible. Brightness Manager is an app that allows you to automatically set your phone's brightness level depending on the app that is open. So that means if you want your phone's brightness to always increase to 100% whenever you have your camera app open, for example, then switch back to auto brightness for your home screen or for any other app that you use, well, using Brightness Manager will make it ridiculously easy to achieve this. Icebox is an application that can hide literally any app from your launcher of choice, including stock launchers that don't normally allow you to hide applications. When you freeze an app in the so-called icebox, it will essentially completely disappear from your device. And this is particularly helpful for any of those pre-installed apps that you never use. If need be, you can then really quickly launch these hidden apps again from within the icebox application, which kind of acts as a hidden folder of sorts. But as soon as you lock your phone again, they'll then be re-hidden. Keep in mind that if your phone is not rooted, then the setup process can be quite lengthy, but it's certainly an application that will help clean up those otherwise messy app drawers. Filmic First Light is an app by the same developers of the highly regarded Filmic Pro application, but instead of video, First Light focuses instead on photography. Now for the basic version, you get access to a heap of useful features, including grid overlays, various aspect ratios, HDR control, film emulation, plus a bunch more. But then if you upgrade to the premium version of the app, then your phone is essentially transformed into a pro level camera. You get access to additional film simulation overlays, adjustable vignettes, anamorphic adapter support, plus heaps more. And it's a seriously impressive app that will only get better with time. Now, whilst we're on the topic of using apps to improve the photos and videos we take using our phones, if you want to take filmmaking with your smartphone to another level altogether, then you might want to consider following a class over on Skillshare that covers exactly that, creating cinematic videos using just your phone. Now, Skillshare is not only today's video sponsor, but it's also a platform that I'm just a huge advocate for. It has thousands of classes across a wide range of categories, including graphic design, video editing, and cinematography, just to name a few. And going back to that class created by the team at Moment, it unpacks the entire process of using your phone to capture high quality footage. This includes showing you a range of different apps you could use, methods of actually filming shots with your phone, transferring and editing your footage, plus a heap more, all of which will really help to take your cinematography to that next level. Premium membership starts at less than $10 a month, but given that they're sponsoring this video, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 people who use my link down in the description, two months of Skillshare for free. So definitely make sure that you check it out using that first link down in the description below. Last month, I featured a live wallpaper app called Metropolis. And this month, we have another freshly released live wallpaper application from the same developer called Diffuse. So this application takes the album artwork of a song you might currently be playing, blurs it to Kingdom Come, and then displays it as a real-time fluid-like visualization that will transform your home screen experience. There are a couple of tweaks that you can make within the app. And if you upgrade to the premium version, you can actually enable live beat syncing, which means the background will move in time with your music. Once again, the developer of this application has been kind enough to offer me 30 free promo codes, which like last time I will be releasing over on Twitter in the next week or so. So definitely make sure to go and follow me over there to have a chance at claiming one of those codes. Drink Water Reminder needs very little explanation, but it's for those of us who struggle to remember to drink our suggested daily water intake. It starts by asking you a few questions, such as your gender and your weight, and this allows it to automatically calculate what your daily water intake should be. You can then track whenever you drink water within the app, and if you're not meeting your daily goals, then the app will send you a gentle reminder to have a drink. 
Super Status Bar is for those of us who love to customize our phones and it offers some seriously impressive functionality. So as the name suggests, this app not only lets you change up the look of your status bar with a huge range of custom theming options and presets available to choose from, but also how it functions. You can set up a range of custom gestures, including dragging along the status bar to change your phone's brightness or volume level, single and double tapping it to turn the screen off or to expand the quick settings menu, for example. Plus, you can even set up what is called ticker text, which will briefly show you a simple text preview along your status bar whenever a notification arrives on your phone. Now, speaking of notifications, Filterbox is a notification manager that offers a range of useful features that help you to take control over the notifications you receive on your phone. Firstly, it will provide you with a complete timeline of received notifications, making it super easy to go back and find a notification you perhaps accidentally dismissed. You can even recover up to 20 of your most recent notifications to the system notification bar. You can also create custom rules to dismiss or mute any notifications automatically. And it's even one of the few apps that natively supports face authentication, which will please all of you Pixel 4 owners out there. Unit Measure is your one-stop app for whenever you need to convert any form of measurement. It has over 100 different measurement types and 16 categories to choose from. And even though this app is minuscule in file size, everything takes place locally and offline, meaning you don't need to have access to the internet for it to work. It's nicely designed, easy to use, and it makes quickly converting between a huge range of measurements an absolute breeze. Now, one final bonus app for today's video is called COVID Safe, and this has been developed by the Australian government. So this may not be useful for people outside of Australia, but COVID Safe is an app that makes playing our part in flattening the curve of the COVID-19 virus super easy. The idea is that we try and get as many people as possible to download and install the application because the app will then use Bluetooth to detect any other devices with the app installed and then take a note and keep a record of anyone you've come in contact with. So then let's say someone is actually diagnosed with COVID-19 and reports it within the app and then gives their consent. That information can then be used by health officials to quickly notify anyone who may have been exposed to the virus. Once you've installed it, it just sits in the background. You don't have to do anything else, but it has the potential to do a lot of good in keeping the community safe from COVID-19. But that's it. If you enjoyed this video and you appreciate this faster paced app related content, then a sub would be amazing. And make sure you switch that little notification bell icon setting to all, which is literally the only way that you will definitely be notified each and every time that I release a new video. Aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you Skillshare for the support and I'll catch you later.